Today we're going to make an easy, no sew, no glue dress for a clothespin doll. In addition to the head bead, pipe cleaner, and clothespin that you need for the tutorial on how to build a basic clothespin doll linked below, you will also be needing three and a half by seven inches of fabric, seven by seven inches of uh, tissue paper, a five to 10 inch piece of ribbon, and optional lace or other trim. For tools, we will be using a pen, a ruler, and scissors. The first thing we're going to do is make a pattern for our dress out of tissue paper by marking a three and a half inch in radius half circle. You can do this by folding your tissue paper in half and then tracing along a quarter circle as so. So this is my semicircle with a three and a half inch radius. So I've unfolded the hands of my doll, and as you can see, the pipe cleaner is pokey on the edges. I'm going to stick the hand straight out in front of the doll, and then take my tissue paper and just poke them through where I want the armholes to be. Because this is a pattern, you can just move the armholes around a little bit if you feel like they're a little bit too close or far away. Now we're going to draw the neckline onto our pattern. Make sure you draw it slightly smaller than you want it to be because you can always cut out more, but you cannot uncut. Now I've taken the pattern off the doll so I can cut out the neckline. To get a good idea of what your pattern looks like, you can put it back onto the doll and then use your ribbon as from your sash and tie it on and just see how it looks. As you can see, the pattern actually looks pretty good, and that's how I used to make lots of dresses for my dolls when I was younger. I folded both my pattern and fabric in half again, and now I'm going to trace the pattern onto the back side of the fabric. Now I'm cutting out the half circle of the, into the fabric. The armholes don't actually need to be circles, they can just be little X's. As you can see, even with just a little slit, you can get the arms through into the armholes of the dress. And now we are going to put the dress on to the doll and tie the ribbon. Adjust the dress with trim and other things, and if you need to, use fray check on any fabric that is likely to fray. If you don't have fray check, you can also use nail polish or a small layer of glue. Once you're done, make sure you fluff out the skirt a little bit, and if you'd like to, these are millinery forget-me-not flowers, and they look very nice with clothespin dolls. Enjoy your doll and have a wonderful day!